What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another video on the channel where today we are back with another 6pm content upload. We're going to check out what EA have released for us today and hop straight into things. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's go hop into today's 6pm content. And so here we go, it is 6 o'clock, we're going to load straight into things. <sighs> I'm hoping we get something good because tomorrow we are live with our foot champs and not only that, we are live with the birthday stream. That is why all this is still up behind me and we're not in Christmas yet because there is a big, big forfeit stream tomorrow. Plenty of hot food to eat, plenty of other bits and bobs, possibly discards up on the line we are going to have a very very fun stream tomorrow so make sure to come check it out we'll be live from 9 a.m on twitch tomorrow morning so you are more than welcome to come on over it's not going to be a fun day for me it'll be a fun day for you guys and if you want to see me in pain it is going to be the only way to do so so hopefully it's going to be good we're going to have a massive pack opening as well and um, i'm going to go through and continue on just grinding through all of these bits and bobs um, and get them finished sadly nothing too new in objectives today i'm hoping we get a brand new Evo because we've not had one recently. And we do. We get the right winger option now as of the Relentless Winger Part 2. Now, it doesn't look to offer the biggest and best upgrades. However, if we just take a Baku, it'd take him to it. Okay, an 85 rated isn't bad. The only problem is... Oh, no, you don't even have to. Okay, that's good. So... You can win games in squad battles and you can also win games in rivals. Now, the best thing that you can do is if you do this all in rivals, you get two done at once. So, mainly just taking this game into rivals and playing it is going to be your easiest way of doing things. But, there's some really, really good options. Fella is there. I think she's actually got quite a fun card if you want to upgrade sort of Real Madrid players. Leon Bailey, if you're a Villa fan, that would be quite good. Um, Van der Sanden's already got a better card than this this year. So, not ideal, but you know what? It is what it is. Harvey Elliott. Okay, this could be a card that I look at doing. Because the fact that we could upgrade Harvey Elliott, that would be very, very nice. Doku's available as well if you're a City fan. A good option there. Clivert's in there as well. Um, if you read, obviously, if you're a Fulham fan, I think that's a really good option. So some decent-looking players that are available. I think for myself, I really have got to go with Harvey Elliott. To get an upgraded Harvey Elliott, um, his card looks really, really good. He's He'll be four-star, four-star. Probably like an engine or a hunter or a catalyst will actually do him pretty well. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But, anyway... That's by the by. We can actually make a decision on that later down the line. So, at least we have another Evo upgrading the worst cards to make them better, which you do not mind. We also have a brand new Icon SBC. We have Schmeichel coming in. Now, bronze, silver, and gold, of course. An 83, an 85, and an 87. It's a little bit expensive. My personal opinion on Schmeichel is he is just not worth it whatsoever. Um, in my honest opinion, I don't like this card. Some people do, and you may want to complete him for that reason. He's there for a month, so it wouldn't be too bad. I'm also personally not completing Icon SBCs this year, just because you can just go and buy this card off the market if I really need him for the team. So, unless I complete, like, every SBC, then I might do him. But even still, there's icons that would obviously take over him instead. So, what we got here is we got Obron. Is this another one? Yeah, I think this is another one to complete for the um, objective right now for all the pro player SBCs. So you need an Italian player, minimum 75 rating on it. It's fairly simple to do. Just a Serie A team and you're pretty much sorted in there, which isn't too bad. Um, obviously, the 82 plus team of the week player pick is back again. Now, this is there three times a day. I missed to say that yesterday, which is really good. We also have a Renan Lodi card now, which I actually quite like the look of. Obviously, all the possible points here in case they get upgraded. Hopefully, they do. Um, four star, three star on him. One segment shouldn't be too expensive. It's an 85 rated team of the team of the week. Now, this is expensive, but... The reason it's going to be expensive is because it could be one of the best left backs we actually have in the game, like down the line. He's also from the league good and Brazilian, and that option as a left back is very, very slim. So it kind of is no shock that he's that expensive, in my honest opinion. Um, overall, though, not bad. Uh, brand new Evo, plus Schmeichel, plus Lodi. It's not a bad day for content. I'm not going to say it's an awful day. I mean, two possibly very usable cards for you guys, depending on what you're after. Um, in terms of everything else, uh, I had duplicates to deal with. So uh, that's why I had two things in the store. I was wondering. We've got plenty of packs already there. In terms of promo packs, as always, there is a million and one packs in store right now. The Elite, Encore, Elite Season 1 Encore pack, which is ridiculous. But 
This could be good. Includes 40 rare gold cards, 2 guaranteed to be Road to the Knockout or Trailblazers, 86 rated or higher. And then there's also the Deluxe Encore Pack, which is guaranteed to have one of those cards, 85 rated or higher. Now, I wouldn't ever encourage you guys to open these packs. However, the fact that you can open 6,000 thief points worth of them is ridiculous. Plus, this premium season opener lightning rounds. I mean, this is crazy. Now, EA are just churning out FIFA points from us, which is kind of no shock in all honesty. Um, and as I say, it doesn't shock me in the slightest. I do want to open that deluxe pack just to see what we can get. See if we can get anybody half decent. I wouldn't mind it. Um, so what we are going to do is I'm going to sit here and load up another £20 worth of FIFA points. Do I suggest doing this? No. Because we did this yesterday straight away to get those three cards and the three packs that we opened yesterday in yesterday's video. And then now we're doing it again just to open one pack. Now, that just sort of proves as well, is it worth it? Probably not. Are you better off maybe doing the two packs instead? Probably yes. Um, you're probably off better just doing these two packs rather than doing this as well. But... Tomorrow, we'll probably end up opening these packs on our stream as well. So to finish things off today, we have the Elite Season 1 Encore Pack. It's £20 for this, so it better be worth it, EA. We are going to get... It's going to start off with a UEL card. Who is this? This is Semedo. Uh, no, not Semedo, sorry. This is Cancelo. Oh! it's That's actually really good. Cancelo's really good. The fact that it wasn't our actual card is kind of annoying. But a Trailblazer Cancelo is unbelievable. Jekyll in behind as well. Really, really nice fodder. But Cancelo, I actually think, is one of the best cards you can get. That is absolutely fantastic. We definitely take that. Yeah, coming in at about 300k. That is really, really nice. Definitely paid out for us. I completely forgot that he was a Trailblazer, in all honesty. Uh, in behind, nothing really too much else. Let me know down below what you guys are getting in this pack if you are opening it. Hopefully, you get a bit of fodder in there as well. But for today, for today, sorry, that's where we're going to leave it. And I'm out. Peace.